our top stories this hour, thousands of Muslims march on the Danish embassy in the Malaysian capital, Kuala Lumpur, as protests over cartoons depicting the Prophet Muhammad break out in Asia and in Africa as well. In Nairobi, Kenyan police block protesters from reaching the Danish embassy. Demonstrators threw stones at police and officers retaliated with tear gas and gunfire, wounding at least one protester. Israel is slamming Russian President Vladimir Putin for inviting Hamas members to Moscow after the militant group's victory in last month's Palestinian elections. The move goes against the EU and U.S. position not to deal with Hamas until it renounces violence and withdraws calls for the destruction of Israel. Kuwait's Al Ra'i Television is reporting that the kidnappers of U.S. journalist Jill Carroll have set a February 26 deadline for their demands to be met or they say they will kill her. The TV channel told CNN Carol is being held at a safe house in central Baghdad. Al Ra'i showed a new videotape of Carol Thursday in which she pleaded with authorities to meet her captors' demands. Michael Brown, the former director of the Federal Emergency Management Agency in the United States, had some sharp words for White House and Homeland Security officials. Just a baloney quote is how he dismissed their assertions that they weren't informed soon enough about the severity of Hurricane Katrina. The 20th Winter Olympic Games are off to a fiery start. Italian gold medal cross-country skier Stefania Belmondo lit an arc of fireworks that wound its way to the Olympic cauldron, signaling the official start of the Games. Some 2,500 athletes from 85 countries will compete over the next two weeks. Also in the headlines, archaeologists in Egypt have unearthed a 3,000-year-old tomb containing five coffins. It is the first tomb discovered in the Valley of the Kings since King Tutankhamun's in 1922. A U.S. team from the University of Memphis found it by accident while working on a nearby site. The big question now for experts, how many mummies are inside the coffins and who are they? Those are your top stories. I'm Hala Garani. Inside the Middle East from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia is next for our viewers in Europe and Latin America. For our viewers in Asia and North America, World News starts right now. Welcome. More now in our top story. Anger over those cartoons depicting the Prophet Muhammad showing no sign of dying A down. quick break here on World News. When we come back after years of planning and plain hard work, the Winter Olymp Olympics open with pomp and pageantry in Torino, Italy. And after 3,000 years of darkness and desert heat, a new tomb is open in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. Stay with us. back uh, to a new look and feel CNN International you may have noticed. Let's move on to this okay, story let's now. Let's take a look at the international weather forecast. For that, we go to Martin Jeans at the World Weather Center. Our new look there, our uh, new graphics extending to the weather center All as well, new Martin. weather, all new weather. Actually, the weather hasn't changed a lot on the ground in the Europe. Nothing Holland. says I love you like a $5 million piece of chocolate. World Sport is next. I'm Hala Garani. I'll have your headlines after a break.